Hello everyone. I'm doing a few videos on development with IDE on a local OpenShift cluster. By local OpenShift cluster, I mean using OpenShift Container Development Kit or in short CDK. And by IDE, I mean you can use any, any IDE of your choice, but these videos will focus on using JBoss Developer Studio, which is built with tool set that is required to interact with them. Recently, Red Hat has released JBoss Development Suite, which is a combination of OpenShift CDK with the Container Development Kit, as well as the JBoss Developer Studio, which is the IDE. These two come together in the JBoss Development Suite. So when you install this, you get a completely integrated environment where it's easy to do the application development using IDE. But before we get into uh, how to use, ha let's go through a quick understanding of how this all works. So you have your local workstation. You'll go and download the CDK. In our case, we'll do JBoss development suite, but that includes CDK, right? So download the CDK first. And in order to download that uh, CDK and use it, you need to register with developers.redhat.com. And once you register, you will need those credentials that you used to register to set up the OpenShift CDK. So that's the first step. Next, once the CDK is downloaded, you start the CDK on your local workstation. The CDK will start up a new virtual machine. It uses VirtualBox by default, but you can also use, for example, if your workstation is a Mac, you can use XHive or VMware Fusion, or if you're running on um, Windows, you can change it to Hyper-V if you wanted to run uh, uh, the VM with Hyper-V or on Linux, you can use KVM, but uh, the common thing across all is VirtualBox. Once the virtual machine comes up in the context of that virtual machine, the CDK will actually run a Docker daemon, right? That Docker daemon will go and pull OpenShift all-in-one image from registry outside. So if we are using CDK, this OpenShift all-in-one image will be pulled from registry.access.redhat.com. This all-in-one image is a complete OpenShift cluster. It has both master and a single node all put together into one container image. So the next step is CDK uses OC cluster up to start that OpenShift all-in-one image. If you have uh, been following uh, the OpenShift local environment on, on your workstation, you might have used OC cluster up. We use the same exact technology to start up a local OpenShift cluster, which is that all in one image on this virtual machine. So you are you have your workstation, you start your virtual machine. In that virtual machine, there is a Docker daemon running that goes and pulls the OpenShift all in one container image and runs it as an OpenShift container. That's how your OpenShift environment is. Now, once you have your OpenShift running, you can connect using JBoss Developer Studio, which is the IDE, and that IDE will interact with your OpenShift environment. You can also use command line. You have both the options. So if you are using the JBoss Development Suite, that comes with the CDK. You can actually start and stop this OpenShift from the ID itself, Developer Studio itself has an integrated adapter that will talk to your OpenShift running as CDK. Now, how do we expect this whole thing to be used? This is my thought on how it gets used. As a developer, you have your own local OpenShift cluster running on your workstation, and that local OpenShift workstation uh, cluster is used by from your command line or IDE to do the application development. And you can go through the iterations, build the code, test it. When you're happy with, with your code changes, you push those code changes into a source control repository. And at that point of time, your code can be moved into a real OpenShift cluster where you can do CI, CD, collaborate your application development along with other developers, QA, move to production, and the whole nine yards. So in summary, developers have their own local development environment that they can use with or without IDE on their local workstation. And uh, they have a collaborative environment on a real OpenShift cluster. That's how the whole thing comes together. Now, in the next video, we'll see how to set up CDK on your local machine using uh, JBoss Development Suite. Thanks for watching.